That Man and His Manga. Hello and welcome to That Man. That is my merchandise and today we are looking at another overpowered fantasy title. In Suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a title that I've actually owned for quite some time. I've actually owned this as soon as it came out a few years ago. And I'm not going to lie, I forget that I even read this one. It sits on my shelf and whenever I look at my light novels, it's there. I can see it pretty much any time. I forget that I kind of read it and it's one that I've had on the back burner to review for a long time because you know what this one was kind of good so let's have a look and I'm gonna tell you why it may be worth your time but before we get into all of that if you're new to the channel and love all things manga and collecting from figures to anime and light novels do me a favor and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos so last dungeon boonies i'm not going to see the whole title because hey it's going to take forever and you know you guys are watching it is an interesting title now this is about a young man called lloyd who always dreams of being a big burly soldier in the capital the problem is he's considered weak in his village the twist is however his village just so happens to be pretty much next to the last dungeon now for those of you guys who aren't sure about this trope who don't really know about this trope in a lot of video games for example dragon quest breath of fire Final Fantasy, the old Final Fantasies, there tended to be towns dotted across the region, just like in your country. And what obviously would happen as you went from the beginner town all the way to the last town, the monsters would get stronger and stronger. So the joke is in here that this main character thinks he's super weak because hey he's got a complex because all of the villagers are super horrible to him because they're that much stronger to him he thinks he's incredibly weak however he moves to the, the capital city which just so happens to be as in a lot of games around the area of the first few towns and yeah it turns out that he's super duper overpowered so this is treated more like a gag series and you know what much like titles such as Konosuba or do you love your mom and a two hit multi target attacks it does manage to do a lot of things rather well in terms of the gag factor and you know me i love me some gags it's kind of one of those ones where if you want a super serious isekai adventure you're not gonna get it this is absolutely ridiculous to the point that well eh, it's got to a few, a few problems with it like, i'm not gonna lie we have a lot of tropey characters we have the harem we have the overpowered character but it plays it off more as a joke and i can kind of commend that i'm not gonna lie i read the first four volumes of this one and you know what i actually had a pretty good time with it it's not the best but it's not terrible either in fact it's one that i while reviewing this i'm sitting there going why did i not buy any more and the reason being is that i just never see it i never see this actually out to buy for some reason weirdly enough and whenever i look for it online it always seems to be more than rrp so yeah weird it's one of those ones where it's like oh i like it but i don't really want to pay a full price for it i want to have it you know eight or nine quid yeah but like i said this is a fun series uh, even a lot of the characters uh, for example he helps a girl who well she's got a cursed belt and then she falls madly in love with him to the point that she literally becomes a yandere we have another girl who's like got an enchanted arm like which is like you know like the oh, what do you call them from final fantasy like the, the the magic tech or whatever you call them from final fantasy where it's like the magic 
steel arm that's machinery but it's magical and yeah she's got like a mouth on her she's a mercenary but she ends up getting dragged in all of these schemes you have the the aristocratic one who you know i think he's all full of himself but then he kind of has a sobering part and he genuinely manages to steal the scene a lot in this volume and then you have the grandma lolly <sighs> why do they do this literally the biggest problem of this is the grandma lolly the, who is an old woman who looks about eight but is first and over the main character constantly yeah it ruins it it's a, it's quite annoying when it does that but you know it the rest of it kind of makes up for it the main character he's lank he is literally lank he is just that kind of optimistic character he wants to help everybody out but he's got a complex because everybody else thinks that he's kind of some people think he's overpowered and the rest of them think he's too weak and he's just kind of like I can't do this I'm not powerful enough and then just pulls a door off <laughs> the hinges and there's a lot of really good laughs to it honestly I was genuinely surprised about this one at how fun it was it's not gonna be the best title ever but again, if you want a genuine, fun, fantasy title with an overpowered character that relies more on laughs than it does on narration, check this one out because I don't know anybody else who's actually read this one and I think that's a bit of a shame. I, I, like I said, I genuinely enjoy it. It's one that I have on my shelf is one that I was just like, oh yeah, I like light novels and one that I really need to read more of. So perhaps I will do just that. Maybe I will pick up the rest of the volume. There's probably going to be about six or seven volumes now that I'm, I'm behind on. Maybe I'll pick them up and put them on my shelf and not read them because I've got far too much to read. Hmm. Well, that was my opinion on Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies Moved to a New Town. What do you guys think of it? And if you did enjoy it, leave a like, consider subscribing, and next time on the channel, we will look at a classic light novel. An absolute classic. For we are gonna look at volumes one to three of Slayers. You don't wanna miss this one. <laughs>